We just thought, well, oh, maybe it's just gonna be a month. The government pushing all Americans must come back. It's crazy to think all the businesses that are gonna be struggling. All of a sudden, Costa Rica was on full lockdown. Get back as soon as possible. That's so big. Oh, wow. Day by day, rules kept changing. We've created our own family here. Strangers together on an island as piece of gorgeous land. Coronavirus. 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 A global disaster. COVID-19 COVID pandemic. What would you do if a virus paralyzes the world as we know it? You're a long way from home and everyone around you starts freaking out. A group of travelers stuck in Costa Rica chose to seek refuge in an off-the-grid hotel. This is their quarantine story. Who <laughs> am I? Oh shoot, how's my hair? Yeah, what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> so, I already had a plan to go to Drake Bay and I decided to stick to that plan. It just seemed like the safer option than traveling through several international airports amidst all the chaos and then going to a place that I don't actually call home anymore because my plan was to travel uh, around the world as a filmmaker and photographer so I left everything that I had in Amsterdam and then well you know where would I come home to anyways I was in Mano Antonio when shit really hit the van and that's where I met Lauren Jordan and the other Nikki the government pushing you all Americans must come back US yeah. citizens come back now and the more that I settled into it, that feeling, it was like, I feel home here. I feel very safe, yeah. and very protected here. Something just happened like a few days before the flight. I was like, I don't think I'm actually gonna get on it. And, and what I really started to think about too was my immune system. You know, it would be more of a risk for me to get on a flight. Mm -hmm. Multiple flights have those layovers and like, it's too, it's too much to think like. Yeah, I'm being exposed to all these other people. You know, everyone ha had plans and adventures, and mine was to stick around Manuel Antonio because I had a job there. Mm -hmm. um, but then the job shut down. And so yeah. it became this thing of where's actually the better energy? Uh -huh. um, if we're going to be in lockdown, if we're going to be in this quarantine position, then like, where is that actually going to be? And for, for me, that question was here. You know, yeah. there's no point in leaving. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> so, this is us. A nomadic yoga teacher, skydive instructor from Hawaii, private chef out of LA, and a duchy now traveling the world as a photographer and a filmmaker. <laughs> well, guys, we're on our way! Here. And so it all began on an empty bus from Manu Antonio. Four travelers that just met trying to get to the very end of the Osa Peninsula. We didn't know exactly what was waiting for us there, but we knew it would be the safer and better place to stay at a time, since there were no COVID cases and we could self-quarantine in the jungle. During the trip, we saw the first signs of lockdown, but nothing that would point to the serious shape it would take in a couple of weeks. All right, so the bus dropped us off, literally, in the middle of the road. <laughs> we're uh, trying to find a way to Drake Bay, because normally there's a bus that goes there, but now on Sundays, there's none, so. I'm trying to hitch a put someone, but as you can see, it's not really busy, so he's hoping. <laughs> so the plot thickens. <laughs> Apparently, Jordan was the only one with a Costa Rican SIM card, so we could call a cab, but he lost his phone! 16 to 17 kilometers, and uh, we'll be there. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're such retards. <laughs> 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 well, funny story. It's a bit of a story, yeah. And that's how we met our fifth companion, John from Canada. I was on my way to Drake Bay, took a turn down the street, and saw yourself, Jordan, and Nikki, and Lauren uh, in distress, in need of a ride. <laughs> yeah, right away we seemed to connect well. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty fun drive, went for a swim. Had a few drinks at night, and I thought, this is a crew I could get down with. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Elle. And this is Elle. She met Lauren while traveling through Costa Rica and was already staying in the OSA when we arrived. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. 
Good afternoon all. We finally made it. <laughs> wow, I still can't believe that we're we're in the in the place. I mean it took us a while, a whole day of traveling and then one night we we had to sleep in Drake Bay and then now we're finally here on the peninsula. This is where we arrived yesterday and that's the boat. Wow, what an amazing spot. Can't wait to show you around. <laughs> Let's see. So over there we have the dorm rooms. Um, this is the, well, apparently they clean the fish there because they, they do spear fishing. How exciting. Um, then over there you can make your way to the jungle and some other beaches. This is the, well, main beach as you will, if you will. And over here we have a little garden. So that way you can get to the main house. That's where we eat, there's a kitchen. Up there is the room where I'm staying with Elle and Laza. Uh, and then this is our garden. <laughs> there's literally so much room for activities. <laughs> I can't wait to explore what's all around and we've got a solid crew. And yeah, it's gonna be an exciting couple of, well, who knows, a couple of weeks, months maybe. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I was really excited to be here. But this is the here I'm referring to. A jungle lodge that's right next to a national park, with only a couple of guests staying there and no new people arriving anytime soon. Now, in terms of social distancing, this would be the perfect place to do just that, no? And in the next couple of weeks, we would have adventures all around this pristine area. The first, like almost the first whole week was pretty much like celebration that we, we found it and that we got here. That was, oh, that was a that journey was an adventure in itself. In itself. Hey. Yeah. I feel like after a couple of days, we really settled in a bit more and now we kind of have a schedule. <laughs> um, so we have a good chunk of inactive hours in which it's really hot and we just like swim or read or chill. And then we have a couple of active hours in which we do like either yoga or a class or we go spearfishing, maybe we do a big hike. It's like there's always something. I usually do a bit of movement, yoga practice in the mornings. I see usually at least four to five beautiful faces <laughs> and and right away, you know, it feels like this family. We've done lots of yoga, acro yoga, spending one to two hours in the ocean each day. Jungle hikes, wildlife is incredible. The insects, the birds, the snakes, the scorpions, bats, parrots. And, and all the bugs. Oh, the How are you bug bugs? <laughs> the ticks, the fleas, the mosquitoes. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's not all, uh, there's challenges for sure. Oh, for sure, yeah. Maybe there's like a, something we do upstairs together. Um, yeah, breath work. We yeah, did. breath work we did today. Uh, a few days ago, I, I taught like a Thai massage little workshop, and then Nikki's got her camera and she's got a drone, and she's like a media expert, loves videography, photography, and like getting to like be a part of you know you doing what you love, and then um, yeah, it's yeah like learning from you. We're all getting to like really tap into what we love to do, and then share it with each other because. That's what we're supposed to do. Like yeah. the thing that you love and then offer it back in of service to the world, to others. Yeah. We're all like teaching each other so many things with the ocean as our front yard and mm -hmm. then the jungle as our backyard. We're doing them so organically. It's not like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're gonna do 7 a.m. yoga and then 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. spear fishing. It's like, hey, you guys wanna get together in like five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Be careful. Yes! <laughs> there we go. Teamwork, hey? Woo! <laughs> oh, yes! Mm. 
you see me this way? Look at that pointy butt. <laughs> that is mean. So these are cashew fruits. Is it good? Oh, that one's plum. Yeah. Hey guys, this is a cashew fruit. So this is actually the cashew nut, if you probably know. There's also a fruit that grows onto it. So it hangs from the tree and you can actually just pick it. And then they're really like plum. Mm. And juicy. They're really good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Day eight. <laughs> We're making palm leaf heads. <laughs> Googled it and uh, yeah, you watch a YouTube stuff. tutorial. Yeah. It doesn't look like a cockroach. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? It has. It has it's like a grasshopper body. Yeah. I Shit, where is it? Oh, there it is. Looking at the ceiling? Yeah. And I was like, uh. What's that? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know. But, um. I'm glad it's not above my bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the first video of this adventure. Next episode, the situation is getting more serious. It's only getting worse and worse. The rules are getting stricter. We'll take you hunting for dinner, go on a jungle hike and enjoy some lovely sunset swims. If you like this video and want to support me as a filmmaker, it would be highly appreciated if you gave this video a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with your thoughts. You can also find me on Instagram of course. I'm sending you love and good vibes and hope to see you soon.